knowledge, wisdom, insights one gleans from having committed your life to studying a subject and its related components. And Richard Dawkins is an example of that. Carl Sagan used to say, when you're in love, you want to tell the world. And were there two dozen books on this list that I just read? Uh, this is Professor Dawkins can't, can't contain his love. And he's got to share it for all those who seek a deeper understanding of life. Not only their own lives, but the lives of everyone around them and the lives of all that came before us and the lives of all those yet to be born. But in there are messages of protecting our civilization because without it, there will be no future lives to be born. And then what of our branch in the tree of life? We can't let the roaches and the rats take over after us. <laughs> so how do you reflect on that declaration? He said that at the beginning of his book, uh, Darwin's Dangerous Idea, and his point was that uh, before Darwin came along, it seemed obvious to everyone that big complicated things like humans and oak trees and things had to have a, an, an explanation in terms of design. And it was a huge stroke of insight for Darwin to see that it didn't, that the laws of physics alone could produce this prodigious amount of complexity filtered through this odd process of natural selection. To me, it's always been strange that it took so long, that it took until the middle of the 19th century for Darwin and Wallace, and even maybe one or two other people. This is thousands of years of thought. It's a history okay. of life, um, but it's going backwards. So it's, it's the form of a pilgrimage, Chaucerian pilgrimage, going backwards in time. We human pilgrims set off into the past, and we're joined by the chimpanzee pilgrims, and then the, and then the gorilla pilgrims, and, the Iran, and then we finally get back to the origin of life. Um, so. It's a way of doing the history of life, but do it backwards, because if you do it forwards, then you end up with the idea that humans are kind of the, the climax, which you don't want. I mean, that's, that's not a good way of I looking say, at it. All you are to those bacteria is a darkened vessel of anaerobic fecal matter. <laughs> that's right. And, and it's pretty much the same with your, with your genes. I mean, it's not, it's not fecal matter, it's <laughs> testicular matter or ovarian matter. But, but, Yes. Okay, so they're the ones and they're the ones carrying themselves forward. Yes. So if it's just information, can you imagine a day where the biology is no longer necessary and you just have the digital information stored or or duplicated in some way? Yes, certainly. Uh, you could I mean already you could preserve your entire genome. Um I mean, I've got my entire genome on, on one disk. Uh, and I, I once... Do you have a backup? <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. Um, Is it on the cloud? Is it... The, uh -huh. the idea was... I don't have a backup. The idea was it was a television program, and the conceit of the program was it was going to be posted into the family vault, the Dawkins family vault in the church at Chipping Norton. Oh, my gosh. To be dug up in a thousand years. Uh-huh. And they were... And like, a, like a time capsule. Yeah, yes. exactly. And the idea was that in a thousand years, they dig it up, make a duplicate of me and of course then we talk about why it wouldn't actually be me because it would just be an identical twin of me mm -hmm. um but that that was the idea what, was it you yes it must have been you because who else would do this <laughs> posted on social media it was no if you had a, a book of the a picture of your mother i think you're thinking of, of your mother's mother yeah you 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 pile them up but it's just one one of many ways of of dramatizing the the, the normity of of geological time I forget exactly how it goes. There are lots mm -hmm. of ways of doing it. I mean, no, but you do this, and if you keep doing it, one of those pictures is, is a fish. Is a fish. <laughs> and yet, and yet, every single generation looks like the, the, the previous one and, and the next one. There's no sudden. There's no sudden. Beauty. It's not sudden. And many people can't grasp this. They think, well, there must have been a time when it stopped being a fish, and you know, it must have, but there wasn't. It just gradually, 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 gradually changed. Well, I don't duck it so much as sometimes I don't have the energy. Oh, that's different. I, okay. I, I, I get that too. <laughs> you feel that? I understand that. <laughs> um, but in the in my field, that really is an absolute opposition. It's, yes. it's not something you Complete can... Complete... Although the Catholic Church, they've met you in the middle. Yeah, yeah, they have. They that's said, it, we have this branch of primates, and then God breathed the soul into right, them, yes, and, yes. and they're humans, allowing evolution all up to that point. Yeah, yeah. 
that's you got you gotta give give him some you, you gotta no, not, a, no. <laughs> not a step not a... <laughs> but the world is not that binary it's not that binary i don't see yes, it, it that is. way there are religious people who are per who where jesus is their savior but they're perfectly fine with a four and a half billion year old earth yes they are okay they're not at the extreme they don't, so, they don't see the contradiction but, but yes so maybe the plurality of the world is a feature rather than a oh, book. You got you should check it out. Okay. Okay, this is now back when social media was just people posting things. It wasn't the cesspool that it is today. Yes. So he was hiking somewhere. There's some guy back when you, had, you needed a camcorder to take videos, yes. not a cell phone. He's hiking in it was it Sierra Madres, I don't remember where. And he's you hear him sort of narrating his Oh, that's a nice cliff. Then he turns a corner and he says Oh, a rainbow. Oh my gosh. What, what could it mean? Oh, a double rainbow. Oh my gosh. And he's tearing. You don't see him, but you can easily interpret just yeah. his emotions yeah, and his yeah. breath. And then he goes prostrate to the ground. Yes. And and he, he can't contain himself. What does it mean? This is a sign. And so I, I felt bad doing this. You might be proud of me, but I felt bad doing this. I. I tweeted, I put a link to this, to this video, and I said, this is how you behave if you've never studied physics. Yes. <laughs> but I thought that was kind of mean. He's having his moment. Well, in a way, that's what Keith was doing. And, and that's to what I, yeah, Yes, that's right. But anyway, I can cap your story in the opposite direction. I read a story about a woman in California. She had a, a lawn sprinkler. And she saw a rainbow in the lawn sprinkler, and she said, "What are they doing to our water supply?" <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh! So I did not know that 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 Keats had that to say about Newton, because Newton, yeah, he decoded the rainbow. Yes, and that was what that was his thing. It's what he One did. One of his things. Yeah, we, we are a description of the worlds in which our dead ancestors survived until they. Until they died, <laughs> survived and it long be, enough to reproduce. Because if we didn't survive, we'd go, we'd be extinct, and we wouldn't be here to talk about it in modern times. We well, are only here because our ancestors survived long, en extinct. long enough to reproduce. Yes, and they survived because of the highly detailed features that, that they had, okay. which their rivals I think didn't differently have. about my pinky toe. Because without the pinky toe, there might have been some dead ancestor that would have ended that branch of the tree of life, yes. and we would have never been here. That's right. Natural selection chooses between genes. Genes are the only thing, the information contained in genes. Digital information is the only thing that goes from generation to generation. That which survives is information, digital information. Some genes survive better than others. We, the bodies, we, the animals, we, the plants, are just the machines that are there to preserve the genes that ride, in, that, that ride inside. It would matter us. if others can be convinced of the same, because otherwise it's just a self-licking ice cream cone. That's thing. right, and if but if you're if you're skilled in writing, I think you can bring out others with you. For me, poetry, art, more broadly, best serves us when it highlights something you might have otherwise missed or never known. For civilization, as it's currently manifested in the world, I think we have to have hope to to live our lives at all. It doesn't mean that at an intellectual level, I necessarily have. I, 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 I live my life as though I have hope, yes. I've come, I be, I've become cynical is not the right word. I've become practical cynic. It's, there are people who think this way or feel that way or behave this other way. And I, I've stopped trying to change them. What I try to do is offer a way of looking at the world that maybe they'll take, maybe they won't. Maybe as an educator, it's my job to make this as tasty as possible. So that, hey, that's a good idea. I never thought about it that way. But otherwise, you know, I just gave a presentation to a Christian school, K through 12. I talked about uh, optics. And at the end, it was open Q&A, and they were 11th graders. And they started grilling me on science versus the Bible. And I said, I'm not here to stop you from being religious at all. OK, 
Okay, we live in a country that protects your freedom to be religious, and you're in a private school. So the government is not going to come after you and say you have to get this out of the public coffers. I made that clear, but I didn't have the urge to try to convert them. And I get the sense that you, you've had this urge your entire life to convert people.